So in this question, we have ourselves a differential equation. We have the function y as well as its first derivative y prime. And then in this case, they're actually giving us a purported solution to the differential equation. The solution that we are trying to sort of check and confirm is a solution is given right here. And because the differential equation contains y prime, this means that we're going to have to take our solution and calculate its derivative. So let's go ahead and write our solution first. We have y is equal to e to the power. Now it says negative x over two. We might wish to write that as just negative one half x. And then we need to compute the derivative. Now, the derivative of an exponential function is performed as follows. You probably learned this in your calculus courses. You're going to basically recopy the function. So you'll have e to the negative one half x. Then you have to multiply by the natural log of whatever your base is. So in this case, the natural log of the base e. And then the chain rule tells us to make sure we multiply by the derivative of the numerator. And the derivative of negative one half x is negative one half. Now the natural log of e is just one, so negative one half times one is negative one half. We can rewrite this derivative therefore as negative one half times e to the negative one half x. This is our first derivative y prime. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to take the given solution, plug that in for y into the differential equation, and then we're also going to take the derivative y prime and plug that into the given differential equation. So let's go ahead and do that next. Okay, great. Now we just need to simplify this. We're going to multiply the two and the negative one half. This of course is going to give us negative one e to the negative one half x. And then if we look carefully, the negative one half e to the negative one half x added to e to the negative one half x, those are going to cancel because this is a coefficient of negative one. This is a coefficient of positive one. You end up adding those together, those like terms, and you end up getting zero. So zero does indeed equal zero. And that's it. That verifies that the given solution, which was this function right here, is indeed a solution of the given differential equation right here.